हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन आ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विद न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप ऑफ एंड्रॉयड सीरीज टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट सेंस ए विजन ऐप फॉर एंड्रॉयड टी वी सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू वट इज सेंस ए विजन ऐप फॉर एंड्रॉयड टी वी वट आर इट फीचर एंड फंक्शन देन विल टेल यू दैट हाउ यू डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल दिस ऐप ऑन ऑन योर एंड्रॉयड टी वी एंड हाउ यू कन्फिगर दी ऐप टू मेक द कैमरा लाइव एन एबल टू एक्सेस ऑल इट फीचर सो कीप वॉचिंग टिल एंड प्लीज लाइक शेयर और वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल इफ यू आर अ न्यू वन सो लेट स्टार्ट वट इज सेंस एव इज एन ऐप फॉर एंड्रॉयड टी वी बेसिकली इट इज अ ऐप विच इज़ यूज टू कनेक्ट एज वेल एज कंट्रोल द सी टी वी कैमरा ऑन योर एंड्रॉयड टी वी इट इज़ ऑल्सो यूज टू मॉनिटर द कैमराज ऑन रोमोट लोकेशन ओवर द इंटरनेट द मेन पर्पज ऑफ दिस ऐप इज दैट बाई यूजिंग दिस ऐप यू आर एबल टू एक्सेस लाइव व्यू ऑफ द कैमरा not only the live view of the camera but you can see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras you take the snapshot of the video you control the ptz camera you save the live view of the camera you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color etc to take a backup of the recorded videos and many more now as far as is installation and downloading and all the things is concerned that comes on the screen first what you should do you should google for or search for sense vision apk and a set orientation apk you have to search for two different apk and set orientation apk is not easily available i will make a separate video that how to download and install set orientation apk and give a link in the description so you can watch the video and when you download both the apk just copy into pen drive okay and after that what you should do you should open a google play store in your android tv and search for file manager plus okay now just click on file manager plus and i already installed it that's why it's showing option uninstall otherwise here you should find option install just click install and this app installed on your android tv and now click open this is the interface of the file manager plus and after that you should insert your pen drive and optical mouse both now it automatically open let's close it for your easily and convenience i show here you can find my scan disk drive detected now just click on the setting and open the apps and here you find file manager plus just click open when you click open here you find my usb storage just just double click it and here you find two apks sense vision apk and set orientation apk what you should do you should install set orientation apk first i will i already installed it just why you this shows this kind of operation new and all just click new and click installed when installed just click open and just click here and click landscape and click okay why we do this do this because by default app will open in portrait mode which is very difficult to handle and operate even even it is impossible to operate in a portrait mode that's why we are installing this file and set orientation to landscape and after that install sense vision app to single click it it is start staging first and then it start installing now click installed now click open or click now click done now i will give you as uh, some tips and tricks which is very important to know and very important to follow otherwise your app is stuck in between so what you should do just click on setting and please do not skip this part of the video just click device preferences and click security restrictions 
and just click verify apps and I'll allow and click unknown source and allow sans revision okay after this what you should do you should again go to the setting and try to find sans revision app see all apps and here you find sans revision app just open it scroll down here you find the permissions just enable all especially locations okay now open sans revision app just click i have read and here is the username and password just login with username and password otherwise here you found a option register you can do by your own i just login it by local just click local here and this is the interface of the app okay first thing what you should do you should add the device just click on this plus button or the, either click on this just click on this plus button here you find manual add and wi-fi config so just click on manual add and click option here advance you can put device name anything like i just put test you can put home if you are adding a home camera if you are installing office camera just click office okay now it asks for a serial number here you find qr code just click it it is start scanning the qr code if someone sent you qr code another question arises where did you go find the qr code just log in your device and go to setting device mean dvr nvr and ip cam whatever you are adding just log in your device and go to setting and go to the information option over there you find a qr code and a serial number okay now click this album and here you find the many thing like search and find password okay so where did here is serial number so you should use serial number okay so i note down the serial number already so that's why i am in i am going to insert the serial number now click here it for ask for a username please don't be confused with the username and and the password is of the device device mean dvr and where whatever you are using and now it ask for a password please don't be confused again it is a username and password of the device device means dvr nvr whatever you are adding now click okay when you click okay you find device look like this just click here and your come camera comes live okay in this where camera is added this back it here you also if you want to preview all the 16 camera just click start preview here and here you find the local record option device list if you have multiple device local record means whatever you record whatever take a screenshot just come here and find password here you find setting just click on journal here you find lot of option like local stream auto languages device upgrade option also automatically hard decoding 
search function, auto login, cleave, cache, all the options you find here. Okay, now again go to the device list. Here you find, just click it, edit, copy, refresh, share to my friend, delete. Just delete it because I will now I will tell you another way which is very simple to add the device. Just click here, delete, and now click OK. Again, click plus button. And apart from that, here you find option search. Where is search used? First, you should, you should understand if your device and your Android TV both are on the same network, same network means both are connected to the same Wi Fi, then you should click search here. And it automatically search the serial number, all the things, IP address, all the things. Okay, just click here. It automatically detect the device. Just here put device name, anything like test or whatever you want. And now click enter. User with by default comes, and now here you should enter the password. Password of the device. Device means DVR, NVR, whatever I did. And input port is optional. If you want to know how to get in port, just log in your device and go to the network option where there you find the HTTP port and click add. Here you see that it's again add and camera comes live. So that's all about this video. Even you can take screenshot, you can record the video. So Hope you like our video. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day.